Edward Jones and Walmart are the latest corporations in the U.S. to suspend all political donations after the Capitol riots. As WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us, at least one company is now demanding refunds from senators who claim Joe Biden's election was a fraud. Hallmark Cards is famous for feel-good messages, but they have an unwelcome one for GOP Senators Josh Hawley and Roger Marshall. Give back the campaign donations we sent you. Hallmark says their votes rejecting certified election results last week, quote, do not reflect our company's values. American Express says they're withholding future donations to lawmakers who voted to, quote, subvert the presidential election results and disrupt the peaceful transition of power. And other major firms like Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Facebook, Google and Microsoft are going farther, saying they'll withhold all political contributions from members of both parties. Chemical giant Dow says that'll be their policy for at least the next two years. It's sending a ripple effect across all these campaigns because Donald Trump is radioactive. GOP consultant Leslie Sanchez, a CBS News political analyst, said the corporate giving ban could hurt many GOP candidates. The question campaigns are asking themselves is how long is this going to last and can they separate their campaign from the larger uh, Republican Party and the aura that it has. Is it just a heat of the moment reaction? Sanchez says it may be. Six months and nine months down the line, they expect those dollars to start flowing again. These are going to be based on individual relationships and not necessarily the party as a whole. But Democratic consultant and CBS News political contributor Robbie Mook thinks there's more to it than that. This is part of a larger reckoning we're seeing in our society. You know, employees of these companies really care about what their leadership is doing, about what happens to this PAC money that they're donating. And we saw how this was transformational in sports, in entertainment, and I think we're going to start to see it uh, in corporate America as it relates to politics as well. But John, you know, in politics, money comes, money goes. Why do you think the corporate backlash is so important? Do you think it matters more than impeachment? Well, Paula, Im impeachment matters. I mean, if you're a Republican right now, with most of Washington anticipating round two of the zombie apocalypse that we saw last week coming up in a few days, uh, you've really got to be asking yourself, do I want to be associated with that by voting against impeachment? But uh, look, money is the mother's milk of politics. There's only so many checks the My Pillow guy can write to you. Uh, if you're counting on Rupert Murdoch and Fox News to always have your back, if it starts to hurt his brand, advertisers start to pull out, you're in for a nasty shock. And I think, just to put a final point on it, uh, you often see corporations and the private sector uh, uh, out ahead or, or responding more quickly to cultural and social changes than you see our politicians reacting. I think you see it anytime you turn on the TV and you see ads in which uh, gay couples are depicted, uh, interracial couples, uh, uh, aspects of society that might not be so widely uh, accepted in certain corners of the country. So. You know, uh, you really got to think twice when you see all these big-name corporations saying, uh-uh, we don't want to be within 100 miles of you. And no doubt about it, we're probably going to see reaction very fast. John Keller, live for us in D.C. John, thanks. And